The other day I was watching a movie from the 90s that I hadn't seen since the time it was released. It was, it's called My Best Friend's Wedding. Uh, it was released in 1997, featuring Julia Roberts and a very young uh, Cameron Diaz, and I think her first uh, major, <clears throat> major screen role that I know of. And the movie itself is, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting, uh, just from a cultural perspective, um, uh, insofar as what it has to say about male-female relations and, and what, uh, what has happened and how they have progressed or regressed, uh, since the time of this movie's release. But, uh, not entirely unrelated to that that matter is uh what i really want to be talking about today is the intro to this movie is a really charming scene uh song and dance number and yes i'm i'm secure enough in my heterosexuality that i can appreciate the choreography of a song and dance number in a movie um and the the opening sequence which was choreographed by tony basil for those who know the of, of Mickey fame, the the eighty song Mickey, uh, she choreographed this uh, this this sequence at the beginning of this movie, um, which I will attach because it's it's again it's very very charming uh, little uh, little number, kind of harkens back uh, kind of old fashioned um, again, kind of uh, gave me. Kind of gave me those uh, that that sense of uh, I don't know what you call it nostalgia or a wish or longing for a better time than the one we've got, which which isn't hard to <laughs> isn't hard to imagine just because just just about any time uh, you know except you know maybe uh, all out uh, you know nuclear war or or uh, you know absolute chaos everywhere that, that that well that's what we've got right now we've got absolute chaos everywhere it's not hard to imagine a better time but this this uh, particular opening sequence made me imagine uh, a nicer time um, and that's I think part of what I found so moving about it but the song that is used is is called wishing and hoping now some of you might know it it was written by the great Burt Bacharach um, and Performed a couple of times uh, by Dusty Springfield and Roberta Flack. Those are, those are the singers who I think probably are are best known for uh, singing this this particular song. And the song itself is uh, is very charming, and it, it harkens back to a time when uh, there wasn't the kind of uh, brittle. Uh, hostility between the sexes that we see being fomented today in large part by third wave feminism <clears throat> of course and uh, also you know there's plenty of return fire uh, from uh, uh, from radical MGTOWs and, <clears throat> and uh, incels and what have you uh, it's just uh, the, the current state of things, the current state of relations between the sexes is is a, a wreck it's a mess uh and the song is uh, a cultural artifact that harkens to a time when one could be when when a woman could be recommended to be loving towards the man she loves and that wouldn't be problematic uh the way it is today the song goes, uh, the, the verse is wishing and hoping and praying and longing, uh, each, uh, uh, each day, uh, of, of her, of his charms that won't get you into his arms. <clears throat> so it's saying, you know, if you're just, if you're in love with this, this man, uh, and you're always just wishing and hoping and praying that he'll come come around and see you as somebody who is a, a worthwhile uh, romantic partner to him the, the song says no that's not the way to do it uh, the way to do it is to uh, is to be actively loving towards him and the chorus goes 
you gotta you gotta show him that you care just for him uh, do the things that he likes to do wear your hair just for him um, okay so uh, so and, and another part of the song goes all you got to do is is love him uh, and hold him and and kiss him and and uh, just do all these uh, various things to show that you care to show that you that to show that your love is real that it's authentic um, and and after you do you will be his okay that's an interesting way of putting it today in one of our empowered feminist uh, anthems it would be like and then he will be yours right um, but in this it's you know you do these things and then you will be his you will belong to him uh, which is just, just a way of saying you know you'll be in his heart he'll love you now is this simplistic of course it's simplistic uh, of course it doesn't always work out that way um, but I do think uh, there, there's something that is really moving about this this song that you know in the scheme of things wasn't written that long ago and it's still a beloved song but today if it were written and if it were put out, uh, it would it would immediately be attacked as problematic. Why? Because it doesn't just uh, say you know uh, it doesn't just tell the woman to just be all brazen and and all like you know I'm I'm the queen and you better you better worship me and uh, my my future boyfriend better be this and he better be that and he better be that um, and, and you know it's not training women to be demanding and and hostile uh, and obnoxious it's saying uh, you know be loving be nice you know uh, do do the things that he likes to do wear your hair just for him right and and I know that you know the the, the way that comes across jars with today's sensibilities because why would you wear your hair for him what you should girl you should be wearing your hair for you but but um no i mean there are times when it's not such a bad thing it can be a very good thing to do what uh you the the person you love the person you want in your life uh wants it's it's not that you are you know just just catering to that person it's not that you are somehow uh, uh demeaning yourself it's just a way of showing your love and there was nothing nothing at all there was a time when there was nothing at all controversial about that you know it was just pure common sense um, and uh, it saddens it saddens me greatly uh, I think that um, you know you can't hear this song without seeing how wholesome a song it is and the the, the video uh, I mean the 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 dance number uh, which involves a bride and and three bridesmaids which I will link to here <clears throat> again choreographed by Tony Basil um, it's a you know it's 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 sort of a tongue-in-cheek little little number but it's still uh, it still basically helps to reinforce the message of the song uh, in a way that isn't just you know thumbing its nose at it so you know it's a it's you know it's it's kind of a sassy uh, little dance number uh and uh you know meant to be amusing and and uh and so forth but but it ends up reinforcing the notion that if you're if you're into somebody uh if you're a lady and you're into a man the way that you show that you care is by by being caring um and uh you know again so wholesome so incredibly wholesome that it brings a tear to my eye uh so i will uh, again link the video below and see if y'all feel the same way that i do um this was in the late 90s when it was starting to get a little bit iffy to uh to to talk about these things and to take uh th these kinds of um to take that kind of stance uh, in a in a song, but you weren't quite getting cancelled yet.
for singing a song like that, for for uh, performing a dance number that helps to support the sentiment in a, used in a song like that. Um, and it also makes an interesting uh, set piece or intro to the movie itself, because in the movie, uh, the the main character is trying to win this guy back from the man from the, the the girl he's about to marry uh and she's very devious and and scheming uh in in doing so and ultimately unsuccessful um spoilers i know but who cares it's it's not that great <laughs> you know if you want to watch it fine but it's not it's not that great but my my i mean my focus is more on the song uh, so watch the video and see what you think see if See if you think I'm onto something here. Uh, see if I don't know. Um, it wasn't that long ago. This was this kind of this kind of stuff was pretty mainstream, and it's sad how far we've fallen. Thanks for watching. My name's Andy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.